Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market prep video for Friday, June 26th, 2020. Yesterday, we saw a little gap down and we saw a little bearishness starting in the morning, but um, in normal fashion for this market, we just can't hold on to any bearish move. And we saw a rally at the end of the day, particularly in the financial sector. So what does that mean for this morning? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink? Let's settle into our office chairs, buckle up and get ready for the Friday edition of the morning market prep video. So this morning we we learned uh, we learned last night in a choppy we had a choppy future session. Uh, we learned last night that there was some concern from the Fed um, on the after the stress test of major banks and um, the the FOMC imposed restrictions on the financials yesterday or, or last night um, um, stopping all buyback programs and capping dividend payments until um, sometime in September now what created their rally yesterday is there was discussion about suspending provisions of the volcker volcker rule that apparently will save the bank some money and so we had kind of an interesting situation where a lot of the financials went up yesterday really inspiring some buying in those and then we got the news after the close about their stress test problems um this morning we're looking at a futures market that seems to be just kind of back and forth kind of concerned we also uh, got a news report this morning about um company um the banks seeing a a interesting problem um with um homeowners as um those companies in forbearance programs which is um you know, delayed payment programs has really surged uh, dramatically um, overall. It says as of Tuesday, 4.68 million homeowners were in forbearance programs, meaning that they have delayed their payments. Obviously, that would put a little stress on the banks. And we're looking at a futures market that's just, you know, it's really remarkable anymore. We get jobs uh, or unemployment numbers that that are Worse than expected, we get uh, some pretty ugly numbers overall yesterday um, on economic uh, economic reports, but we surge back. And um, what's been happening here lately, it just doesn't matter what the news is, um, bulls are buying. And it makes me wonder how much longer that can continue. Um, and we'll talk about that as we go along here. But right now, futures are mixed. We have um, some of the futures pushing to the upside. Um, right now, we have the Dow futures pushing to the downside. And they've been back and forth all morning. But let's take a look at the technicals of the chart. First off, if we take a look at the diamonds right across here, and I've mentioned this several times, we have held on to the longer term uptrend in this chart. But we do have these um, short term downtrends to consider. So although we saw that bullishness yesterday, we still have a downtrend that needs to be defeated overall in the chart. And if we do take a look at the moving averages here, you can see we have a clear failure um, of the 200 day moving average. We're struggling here. And I still think there's a high probability with the rising coronavirus cases and issues out there that we will eventually test that 50 day moving average and possibly even break it. But as we wind it, go into this, the end of the quarter, I think what we might be seeing is a bit of the window dressing where 401k plans and things like that are pumping money to the market and a lot of buying going on into the end of the quarter. Whether that will continue as we slip into um, next quarter, I don't know. But let's watch this closely. There's obviously quite a little bit of volatility in the market, and this is one of those one of those markets that can just rip your head off um, if we um, get a 
a short squeeze going on or if we get uh, those bears re-emerging and coming back we could really um, see that profit taking kick in quick so watch this closely it could be an interesting session as we slide into this weekend let's take a look at the spy 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 is also showing that nice little uptrend hold. We're holding on to that uptrend, just kind of barely holding on to that uptrend. And we have this downtrend in play. The good news here is yesterday's move, we held that 200 day moving average. And that 50 day moving average is still rising up to try and provide some additional support. Once again, I wouldn't be at all surprised to see that 50 day moving average tested. We'll have to watch, wait and see what happens here. But let's keep in mind that even if we do rally, we do still have these island reversal patterns up here that we need to contend with, which puts in that resistance level right across there. We have the same thing in the Dow. So watch that closely as we approach those levels, just to make sure that we don't see those bears up there in a defense pattern ready to push it back down let's take a look at the cues qqq now nasdaq has just been unbelievably um, bullish and if i were to measure you know from our our low down here and look over there on the right hand side there's a little uh excuse me on the left hand side of the chart there's a little box that shows up and notice right down at the bottom where it says you know 327 um in there here let me just move this right over here to um, our day when we rallied notice that it says zero 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 across the bottom there well if i lift up and measure up to our high point here that's a 52 percent rally to that high point 52 percent rally it makes me wonder how much longer that can continue um, we would expect at some point in time some kind of selling or pullback to occur in the market and so you'll want to think about that carefully remember bull runs don't last forever and um, there will be at some point in time some selling come into this market watch that closely and carefully as um, as we go along here because it just it would not surprise me at any time we start to see some profit taking in some of these companies. So as our cues continues to go up, we have a really good bullish pattern here. We held that support yesterday and we have a bullish uh, piercing candle pushing through. So the NASDAQ is trying to push higher and we still have those big five really leading the way here in the market. And we're really not going to see any problem here in the NASDAQ unless we happen to pull back and fail that high right there. <clears throat> that will be the concern if that does occur. So watch that carefully. And then in IWM, IWM, we still have this downtrend in play in the short term and the uptrend in play in the long term. So we failed the 50 day moving average. We've failed the 200 day moving average and we're continuing to hold in this downtrend. So essentially we have three indexes showing us short term downtrends and the NASDAQ doing the majority of the lifting. So um, I don't think we're gonna have any major sell-off unless we start seeing some of those big tech firms starting to sell off. So watch it close and just be careful as we head into the weekend. Consider your risk as we head into the weekend as we wind down this second quarter. Let's take a look at the VIX. <clears throat> The VIX popped up, gapped up yesterday morning, and then ended up pulling back, and we ended up resting right there about the 50-day moving average on the VIX. And we're also setting on this little bit of a price support. So we're still seeing this elevated VIX that we haven't been able to get past yet. And that should give us that little bit of warning that the VIX is, is poised here. It's poised here for some kind of a big move, and that could be, an up move um, if we can make the decision that the bulls are going to win this battle and really push these markets up then we need to see that failure come in here and really a drop down through this low that's going to be important if we're really going to get that rally going but right now there's this little concern here in the vix and that should keep everyone just on their toes watching the price action of this market very carefully in case 
um, those bears make a uh, an attack. So watch that carefully. And then if we take a look at T2122, T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And you can see we bounced off of that bearish reversal zone down here. So we did get that nice bounce up here. That's a good sign here. And there's my bearish reversal zone note. Um, we're down here in that reversal zone and we're bouncing up. Now this morning, we're just getting this back and forth in the futures that can suggest we either continue that push higher and we could easily push back up into here. Um, but then we want to also be watching for that possibility that maybe we maintain a little bit of this little trend in here and we reverse back down here into that area. Remember, we've got that uncertainty of the weekend and we could see some selling into the weekend. So watch that carefully. We it could go either way here. Um, we're just going to have to really stay on our toes and not be fooled by um, by a one day pop as we continue to stay underneath these short term resistance levels in three of the indexes. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today and our economic calendar really doesn't have a whole lot going on today but when there is something to make note of darn it i keep picking up that window and as you can see we have personal incomes and outlays this morning here at 8 30. that could move us around a little bit and the consensus on that well um you know anything is possible here but you can see our consensus range is somewhere between minus 10 and minus 2. Um, the prior was 10 and a half percent and the consensus um, estimate now is a negative 6.4 percent so that could be a little bit of a problem for the market but one of the things that's been occurring um, here lately is really doesn't matter what the news comes out to be um, doesn't matter how negative it can be uh, buyers just want to buy stock and so we'll want to watch that closely and keep an eye on that and then we also have um, consumer sentiment not one of those that really moves things around all that much and one of the things is it's been holding up really, really strong. So if we see that start to slip, that could be a little bit of a problem for the market. But as long as that holds up, I think we're in pretty good shape. On the earnings front, we have about 14 companies reporting earnings, but I got to tell you guys that there's not a whole lot in here um, that's really notable. Um, a couple that I put uh, put out here as possible notable, and, and I see, um, uh, J J R J C, um, that has that was showing on my calendar for today, and that has been pulled off uh, now. So J R J C, it looks like they've already moved through their report, and F I Z Z um, is about the only other one that might be somewhat notable this morning. So kind of keep an eye on that. Um, not much on that earnings front as we wind down the second quarter. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading, and I want to wish you great profits. And as we slide into this weekend, just remember to consider very carefully the risk that you hold into the weekend, just in case, you know, something occurs over the weekend and you just never know. So think about that carefully. Remember, we can't be consistently profitable traders unless we exercise the practice of taking profits. So kind of keep that in mind. So how about we take a look at some stocks here that could be setting up, but before we do guys, if you could do me a favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you find these videos to be useful, to be helpful to you, please do me a favor and leave that brief comment and um, well, you can comment on anything, but leave that brief comment and um, uh, click that thumbs up button. That helps me out a ton and continues to grow the channel. Um, makes it worthwhile for me to continue uh, the effort of putting these videos out every day. Thank you to everyone who does do that. Um, you guys are awesome. So let's take a look at some stocks that are setting up. And I added a couple of alerts yesterday. Um, 
that I, I think might have some interest in here. Take a look at Nugget. Nugget is a gold miners um, um, two times bull. Um, and you could look at um, several stocks out there. I don't trade a lot of the um, leveraged ETFs, but one of the things I do like here in Nugget is the fact that we have broken this downtrend. So we've been moving in this downtrend. We held this support level here, and now we're trying to hold this area as support. So keep an eye on this. If this holds in here, there may be that opportunity that those gold miners um, could start to move up, particularly if the market starts seeing a little bit more bearishness or a little bit of selling coming in. And if we look at this this morning, it's it looks like it's going to open about where it closed. So maybe some more rest in here uh, may be coming, um, something you might want to keep an eye on. If we take a look at GLD, and by the way, I want to continue to manage that I hold GLD so I may have a bit of a bias on this um, GLD uh, continuing to hold up in here after breaking through this resistance again it could be one of those safety plays if the market starts to show just a little bit of fear or concern in here so keep an eye on that um, that may uh, find that trend and move on higher let's watch that carefully in there couple other stocks that have that potential of really pushing to on out here if you take a look at Lowe's I've got some drawings here Lowe's um, has really been very very strong and you can see we've got this little pullback consolidating move at any point in time this could make that decision to pop and move higher and you can see we have that potential resumption of a trend keep an eye on lows you might want to also keep an eye on home depot home depot has struggled just a little bit more and this has that potential of being a a failure here but we also have that potential of that rally so we have this little symmetrical triangle little wedge pattern if that can catch some bulls in here we may have that opportunity to push on higher take a look at uh, PayPal PayPal had a nice day yesterday so this has been moving up in a trend got a little resting pullback buyer stepped up here nice little bullish candle if that can follow through PayPal looking pretty good and SQ SQ also showing quite a lot of strength yesterday, pushing on up. So watch this right in here. If SQ can find that those buyers in here, this could continue in that upside trend. Keep an eye on that. Also in the tech sector, if you wanna pick up an ETF, take a look at XLK. XLK holding up strong. I've got an alert across this area. You can see we're dealing with this resistance high right in here, but nice little bullish piercing candle yesterday. If this can follow through today, um, break on out, we could see the resumption of the trend here in the tech sector. So watch that carefully if that can get moving um, overall. Last but not least, I'm going to mention um, some of the financials um, yesterday. If we take a look at like JP Morgan, now JP Morgan certainly been in a downtrend. You can see I've marked the downtrend here, but look at that big, beautiful bullish candle yesterday. And we're trying to break back through, up through this little resistance area in the chart. So if we can see those financials move up and actually prove to hold some support in here hold that downtrend we may start seeing some of those financials turn around if we take a look at BAC we're seeing the same kind of pattern here Goldman Sachs nice bullish candle here yesterday big push up that opportunity that some of these could begin to respond and I think we're gonna need these financial stocks if we're really gonna sustain um, this rally so far They've been struggling quite a bit, but if we're gonna sustain the rally, we need to see that those financials really start to move. Perhaps some of these rule changes will help them do that. Let's watch those close as we head into the weekend. So with that, everyone, I wanna wish you all the very, very best. Be safe, boy, with the coronavirus stuff kicking up all over the place. Protect yourself, protect your family. Be safe, I wanna see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Have a great weekend, everyone. 
And remember, next week is a short week. Friday is a holiday as we head into the 4th of July. So we have a short week to look forward to. Y'all take care. We'll see you right back here Monday morning.